So on the practical perspective, there's a couple tools, tools that I like, and we were chatting about one of them earlier, which is the daily walk. Going for a nice, slow stroll, preferably in nature. Um, you know, Japan is doing a ton of research into this. They have a beautiful name for it. It's called Shinrin-yoku. It means forest bathing. And what they're finding is that walking in nature helps to balance the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems and buffer the brain against the deleterious effects of cortisol. So cortisol itself, like, inherently is not bad, right? Like any other hormone is just not bad. In excess, of course, it can be. But going for that walk is unbelievable at helping to de-stress. I often tell my clients, like, if you go for a walk every day, in a year you'll change your life. Just that. Okay. Nothing else. No dietary tricks. Like, n- n- you know, nothing else. Just go for that walk. We walk as well. What's going on? Like, our blood is circulating, right? So more blood is being delivered to our brains. More blood is being delivered to our muscles, right? So we're delivering oxygen, we're delivering nutrients, we're delivering sugar, we're taking away, you know, carbon dioxide and lactic acid and all the, like, junk. So you're increasing that whole process. But also, you know, from a real evolutionary perspective, like, our bodies were made to walk. Like, we were made to move. And in terms of, like, digestive distress, I'll tell folks, movement equals movement. So one of the best interventions for constipation is walking. Because, you know, what do we do now that we, we mostly, like, sit around all day? Like, many of us sit around all day with posture, eating food out of vending machines. There's an enormous disconnect between our bodies and, like, our lifestyle. And so the walk helps bring that back in. But we can take the walk step further and turn it into almost like a meditation, a walking meditation, or just simply an exercise in mindfulness. So I might coach people who are open to it, and I don't always start with this who, if folks are like super overwhelmed, but when you're walking, you know, feel the sun and the air and the wind on your skin. Really listen to the sounds that are going on around you instead of like whatever committee is in your head and like the list, right? Um, look at what is directly in front of you. Like, is it another person? Is it a tree? Is it birds? And just really experience that at, like, a microsecond to microsecond level. And when you find your mind, like, wandering, like, galloping away as it's going to, you just bring it back. So you can take the walk a step forward, like, a step further. And this helps cultivate self-awareness, not just, like, awareness of thoughts, but also awareness of body which if we're looking to improve our quality of life, again, like coming back to that piece, like you have to have some level of self-awareness at that mental, emotional, and physical level all. So I think it's a wonderful way that we can get into a person from multiple different doors.